Well, our weather is looking a little unsettled as we go into the week, and we have a tropical storm in the central Gulf of Mexico. It's moving to the northeast, but a lot of the storminess is headed towards the peninsula, and we're going to catch a little bit of that. Winds 60 miles an hour moving to the northeast, now zipping along. We like that fast speed because it means it's not going to spend a lot of time over the water. And another way to look at it is to look at the cone with the expected extent of tropical storm conditions. Once again, it's a rather lopsided system with most of the tropical storm force winds on the eastern side of it. The west is pretty quiet. And then here is the cone, and you can see the extent of the tropical storm conditions extending well beyond the cone. So if you're over here and you say, well, we're not in the cone, well, it doesn't matter. You're going to feel uh, the effects of the storm. And it's also going to be a big storm surge maker here because the winds are going to be blowing up towards the northeast part of the Gulf of Mexico and funneling the water in there. Then after that, it's off the southeast U.S. coast. Tropical storm conditions are also possible uh, there along the Carolinas later in the weekend. That's the tropical storm warning in effect for that area where that yellow goes across the coast there and also storm surge warnings. And this area up here where it's shallow, the bays are shallow, the northeast uh, part of the Gulf there in the Big Bend could see some spots of up to five feet of storm surge over normally dry ground. So here is the Nestor moisture and Nestor's tail uh, down to the southwest. The moisture feed moves over Florida tomorrow. There we are tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. and the moisture tail over. So a good part of the state seeing rain. I think we're just going to see some spotty storms to passing storms around. I don't think it's going to be an all day rain. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to look like it's going to want to rain, but I think that the bulk of the rain is going to be to the north of us. But that moisture tail sticks around. So our chances for rain stick around into Sunday. Central and North Florida looking great by Sunday with drier air moving in, but down here it's going to be a little bit cloudier and a little bit wetter. Here's our wind jammer resort camera this afternoon. Those are the clouds from Nestor already over us. 84 in Miami, 84 Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 85 in Key West. Very humid out there. Seven summery time feel to the air. Feels like 92 right now. Breeze out of the southeast because the breeze now being influenced by Nestor and the winds blowing into Nestor. And in fact, the satellite loop showing that here is Nestor not too far away. But there is the center of Nestor. And once again, all that wind shear blowing most of the big thunderstorms away from the center right now. Here's our forecast for tonight. Warm and humid, a few storms, a little bit of a beach breeze, a low near 77. Tomorrow, look for a good deal of clouds, some passing storms, but I don't think an all-day rain and a pretty good tropical breeze much of the day, a high near 87. For boaters, uh, winds out of the southeast and pollen count showing everything is low to moderate. For boaters, small craft caution with southeast winds averaging 15 to 20, taking us through the weekend. A little bit stormier for your Saturday, not so bad on Sunday. Back to you.